Hello and welcome to We Are One at One here at Augustina Lutheran Church. My name is Shanna and I am glad to be sharing with you today. This um, is my last one in one as we come to an end of doing just virtual and online and we start to add in to our outdoor activities with faith formation and online worship is still existing but we're also going to have in-person outdoor and soon indoor worship as well. And so um, as we transition I get to share with you one last time. And so this last Sunday, actually, we had outdoor faith formation for all ages, and it was such a gift for me to see all these people and to be with them and present with them, and yet there was a lot of differences when people showed up, maybe just differences in height, and um, maybe even recognizing people because things have changed over so long, and also just that feeling of joy being able to be together after being apart for so long. And so for our pre-K through fourth grade kiddos, we talked about the Pentecost. Even though that is not the church season we're specifically in right now, we use that as our time to wrap up after Easter to explain more about the Holy Spirit. And in my faith and life, I still struggle with the understanding of the triune God, of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And I often think of the Holy Spirit as a more confusing aspect of God. I know that as we read in the Catechism that the Holy Spirit is the one who gives us faith, living and active, and um, it does not move according to our doing, but according to God, and the Holy Spirit's presence can be a bit confusing. And it made me think about how would I describe that to kids, or even for myself to think about that more. But part of that is I thought of this story, and so I'm going to read part of a story to you of, called When Charlie Met Emma. And the story makes me think of like how the Holy Spirit works within our interactions, as well as how, as we gather again, how we may be a bit different, you know, because we've grown or we might have had some hardships because of the pandemic or how we feel about things um, because it's been a while and it's easy to see differences. And so this story starts out with um, Charlie's talking with his mom about the things that he likes to do and how people can be different than him. And so then it goes on to say, one day Charlie and his mother went to the park and he saw someone even more different than he was. Charlie stopped and stared. He saw a girl without any hands, and she was in a wheelchair. He rubbed his eyes and looked again. Yep, still no hands. What happened? Where did her hands go? Maybe some aliens came from outer space and took her hands with them. Or maybe monsters had bitten them off. Or maybe her hands were just lost. Charlie had a strange feeling inside his stomach. Before he knew what was happening, he heard himself asking in a not-so-quiet voice, Why does she look so weird, Mommy? Charlie looked up and noticed that his mom's face looked weird, too. Charlie looked at the girl and saw that she looked sad. Now Charlie's stomach started to hurt. Charlie's mom knelt down next to Charlie. Sweetie, it's not nice to call people weird. Weird is a rude word. Rude words can hurt people's feelings. She's not weird. She's different. Do you remember what I taught you about being different? Charlie remembered. Different isn't weird, sad, bad, or strange. Different is different, and different is okay. But was it? Was different okay? Maybe this girl was too different. Maybe this girl was strange. You should introduce yourself, Charlie's mom said. I bet she likes making new friends, too. Hi, I'm Charlie. What's your name? I'm Emma, the girl said, and this is my sister, Chloe. I'm sorry I said you look weird, said Charlie. My mommy said that's a mean word. That's right, Emma said. I also don't like it when people point, stare, laugh, or whisper about me. But it's okay if you have questions, Emma said. Charlie smiled. He did have questions. Lots of them. Why don't you have any hands, he said, and why do you have that chair? Emma sat up straight and smiled. I was born this way. I have limb differences. That means my arms and legs are different. I can't walk, so I use this wheelchair. I drive it all by myself. Wow, Charlie said, you really are different. Yep, said Emma, I am. Lots of people are different. And the story goes on to talk about how other people might look different and how ways that you still are the same person. And they talk about how they love to play tag and how they love to do art. And they end the story that way. So in this story, the difference is really about a physical feature, but I think for us that it's easy to come together and notice the differences in people. And I pray that during this time, as we have 
been a part and as it's sometimes easy to focus on the things that maybe we think are weird or not the same about someone that we pray that the Holy Spirit will be in those interactions and that we reminded that each person has a name and that God is moving between us and that God is present and that God loves all of God's children. And so on this day, I pray that you may feel that love from God and that you may say hello to someone you don't know. And instead of staring, you may introduce yourself and ask them their name as well. So may you go in peace. Amen.